Dear friends, friend Martin, I'm happy that we have our Martin Schulz, like you all, and we have such an experienced politician in a world we need an experienced politician with a passionate European as our candidate. Martin Schulz stands for more social Europe, for a European Union of the people. Dear Martin, you have our full support. We are glad to have you. <laughs> Hundred years ago, in 1914, narrow-minded and nationalistic policies led to World War I. More than 20 years later, the National Socialist propaganda prepared the ground for World War II. In the past, humankind, and in particular, we Europeans have seen what nationalism and hatred might lead to. Europeans went to war against one another. Far too many people had to die. Today, in 2014, there is peace in the European Union. Generations of young people are growing up in a Europe who take peace in the European Union for granted. That's something we can be justified proud of. And that is also something we owe to the peace project of this common Europe. But peace, dear friends, must never be taken for granted. It is linked with social cohesion. It is linked with social peace. We may not lose sight of this important factor, especially in the most severe economic and financial crisis since the 1930s. In economically hard time, when growth is far too low. To ensure social cohesion, we need clear prospects, prospects for the citizens of the Union. In some regions of Europe, every second young person is without a job. More than 5.5 million persons younger than 25 are jobless in the European Union. For them, Europe is not a symbol of hope as it used to be for their parents and grandparents of our generations. Young people in many regions of this Europe are the victim of the crisis, and this is not fair. If we want to safeguard social peace in Europe, we have to secure the future for its youth. Social cohesion is a task going beyond national borders. We have to guarantee training to the young people of our continent. We have to show them that they have a chance in our Europe and in our society. In Austria and implemented also in other countries in Europe, the training guarantee for young people has shown very positive results and our youth benefits from our dual training system. This training guarantee is an item of the European agenda. And I think it's very important for us to be also specific in our agenda. Not only to say our goals and our priority issues, also to have very specific ideas programs and measures to propose. We have succeeded in making available 8 billion euro to finance the Europe-wide training guarantee for our young people in the next years. But we are aware of the fact that this amount is by no means enough. To reduce youth unemployment in Europe, we are likely to face an expenditure of 15 to billion euro every year. And this question immediately arises, how we are going to raise this amount? Because to have it as a goal is one side of the coin. But to say it very frank, 
We have also to say the idea how to fa finance these instruments. And in my view, youth unemployment is not only a national problem, it's a European problem. I regard unemployment in Europe and youth unemployment in particular as the most important challenge for the European Union and therefore we need a European response. And that's the main reason because I would like to mention also today to say we need the financial transaction tax in Europe because we have to finance our ideas, not only to talk about them. People must feel that we have an idea how to make things work. Social Democrats, we call for the introduction of a financial transaction tax for two reasons. First of all, to curb highly speculative, speculative trading in the financial markets. And secondly, because we are of the opinion that those who have at least a shared responsibility for the crisis should also make a contribution to financing its costs. I think that's a question of fairness. And I suggest that we in Europe should introduce this financial transaction tax and use it and we need this amount of money from this tax to finance the European training guarantees. My friends, many things are very clear, crystal clear, that we are in favor of a fair social Europe. And therefore, this election is so important for Europe. Now we have the opportunity to set a new course for European policies. Those wanting to have a socially fair Europe have to vote for Social Democrats for Martin Schulz.